What's up, baby? My name is Jimboy Guys. I got on here, and I'm not in my room. I'm actually in my grandma's car right now. Um, I just say Arby's. It was pretty good. But uh, for the 60 subscribers special, I was going to do like a Q&A or just talk about myself. I just, I don't know, scratch that off. We're going to be discussing the rest of Dragon Ball Super. So, yeah. So, we're coming back from where we left off. So, I thought Rose Goku Black was okay. So, okay, I should have to discuss, I hate Zamasu. He could have been one of the good, greatest villains in all of Gr Dragon Ball. But no, he became evil because he saw two rock people punching and kicking each other. What? I don't get that at all, really. It doesn't make sense. Um, like... Um, Super Saiyan, like, yeah, Goku, he, getting Goku, stealing Goku's body was okay, but still, Zamasu is, like, one, the worst villain of all, all, and all of Dragon Ball. Um, um. Super Saiyan Rage, okay, where do I begin with this? So, why didn't they make Vegito kill Zamasu, or f merge Zamasu, or whatever you call it? No, let's just have Trunks, the person that was literally, the person that came back and asked for help, then he killed him. Well, like, if you asked for help, then why, it doesn't make sense. So he is weaker than, he is probably, like, as strong as Super Saiyan, like, a little stronger than Super Saiyan 2 Vegeta. Then, he, like, and then he's, like, the power of Super Saiyan Blue? What? I literally hate this arc, and I wish it could go die in a fire. Okay. So, oh, ah, dang it. Um, okay, yeah, it's still recording. Okay. Now, next up is the Tournament of Power. Now, I did give this a rewatch, and this is pretty good. One thing that I didn't like is how they just, like, you know how, like, how Hit was silent the whole battle, and then we already knew he was going to be, like, he's the strongest because the way he acts. Yeah, they did the same thing with Jaren. It would have been cool when J Like, yeah, it was cool how, like, we knew that he was going to be the strongest because just the way he acted. But they did it two times, and, yeah, J I don't know which one it would have worked better for it. I would probably say Jaren because he just wrecked Hit. And couldn't Hit just do, like, pure progress and then just keep buffing himself up? Just like he did against Goku. Or stop time and then just land. Or just like. Keep hitting like. Jiren for like a couple hours. And then once he does that. Like he just gets him out of the ring. I don't know why he doesn't do that. Um, I like the fact of Ultra Instinct. And Super Saiyan Blue Evolution. But. Uh. I don't know. Yeah, okay, one thing. Why? So, Kefla. Okay, so Kaba, after the Universe 6 tournament, is um able to go Super Saiyan 2, but he. But the other thing is, he teaches Khalifa, then she can go Super Saiyan 2 immediately. And then she turns out being weaker than Super Saiyan, or being the same level as Super Saiyan 2 Goku, to being with Kale and Khalifa at full power, being able to wreck Goku in God form. What? There's no way this, like, this unexperienced Saiyan is able to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with Super Saiyan God Goku. It, no, no. 
and then like Kefla. So a lot of people say, "Oh, yeah, Vegeta and Gogeta, they can go Super Saiyan Blue Kaioken." No, they can't do that because Vegeta doesn't know Kaioken. So and Kale has his like has her Berserker form, but whenever they fe whenever Kale and Khalifa fuse, they become the legendary Super Saiyan. No, if anything, they should just be able to go Super Saiyan, not Berserker form, because like only Kale knows that she's the six universe. She's Universe Six's Broly. I don't know. Oh my gosh, it just doesn't make sense. I don't. There's no way like them. Okay, maybe th with them fused, they would be stronger than Super Saiyan God, and then Super Saiyan Three, and maybe a little stronger than God. But there's no way that they just overpower Blue. And it's not that I'm like a like I'm against female Saiyans. I'm not. If anything, I would think that's pretty cool. Someone that's actually as strong as Goku and Vegeta. Just the way that they did it, I didn't like. So, the, the, the fight with Goku and Jaren was pretty cool. And then, um, but one thing that I don't get, why would they make Top the destroyer of the, le of the 11th universe instead of Jaren? Jaren's clearly stronger. Because Top was taken out by Blue Evolution Vegeta. And... Blue Evolution is weak, is weaker than Master and Ultra Instinct, and Goku almost lost that fight still. Well, yeah, maybe if he was still using Master and Ultra Instinct, maybe, but he still, he still, he would have lost that fight unless he had Master and Ultra Instinct fully. If it's Master, wouldn't then why can't he just go off in the corner then just go do it? And like whenever like Vegeta and whenever Vegeta's out of his Super Saiyan Blue Evolution form, he just gets back in it. Why didn't he use that against Broly in the Super Broly movie? It doesn't make sense. Um, but like I said, um, I might um next video I'm gonna be discussing Choji versus Chocho or top seven Dragon Ball or top seven Dragon Ball super hacks and I think you guys are agree are gonna agree with me on on them but I'm not gonna say anything yet. But I think the only reason why this ability one of the abilities is hyped up so much it's because of Shao I don't like I think my character Groudon and Xenoverse could beat Shalit easily. You know, Kagi Films, yeah. Groudon can, yeah, he can beat Shalit. But anyways, um, that's eh, I have nothing against Shalit. I just don't know why they put him in Dragon Ball Legends. Eh, I don't know why. Um, but anyways, so I liked how Dispo was like really fast and how he was faster than Golden Frieza, but. Yeah, mm, I don't know, but that's all for today's video, hope you guys enjoyed it, and I guess I'll see you guys in the next video, and I might just re recap Super Broly, so, bye.